Welcome to the Matt Pierre Career Mode series, everybody. Today we're already reaching the halfway point of this season with the Saints currently at 3-4 and four as we take on the 5-2 and two Cincinnati Bengals. All right, Matt, can you put the Saints on your back again this week? Last episode, 30 carries over 160 and found the end zone. We need Matt to help do that again. And the reason I say that Matt needs to do that again is because I feel like waiting for the team to be just fully cohesive is going to take too long. We need Matt to just control things and dominate. And yeah, that's simple as that. So Matt Pierre first and 10. Let's get going here with six. We're going to give Matt the football a lot moving forward. We can be a really good balanced passing team, but we just always aren't. So, we're going to run it. Two straight plays, now third and short. All right, Matt, third straight carry, and he's not going to get it. No chance. That was an easy block shed. So the first attempt at only using Matt Pierre did not work. We had a double team block there, a 95 that failed. We'll try going up the middle again. Pierre for about four. All right, it skips some plays. We got a first down. Now we're out to the 17. Bulaga, what are you doing? He's sacked by Shade. Okay, Cincinnati is on the board first, and we have not really moved the ball at all so far. So we'll try Matt Pierre again. And okay, Shade has to be the best player on this team. He's a problem on like every play. Let's avoid 95 moving forward. Oh, come on. We can't catch a break right now. Larry Warford is going to have his hands full today. All right, Bulaga to Willie Sneed on third down, who only gets one foot inbounds. Okay, no points there either. Just game to game, you don't know in this series what you're going to get. We could look fantastic one week and then look like, you know, an FCS team getting ready to face Alabama the next. I don't really know why we're so inconsistent or why Bulaga can play great but doesn't always play great. Third down, okay, we're missing plays, a sack, a deflection. Pass game is broken right now. Thank you, defense. Much appreciated. I'm not sure who got the turnover, but we'll find out here in a moment. Let's get Bulaga to the air now, and Clarence Tlaib gets us inside the 20. Rodriguez Tutton got us the interception, so we are thankful for that. And here's first down. Bulaga trying to get open for you, and he gets caught from behind and sacked again. All right, Matt Wheeler out to the end zone. And Pierre, nope, it's going to be Michael Thomas right near the marker. And that might get it. No, Matt Pierre celebrating like we did. We'll hurry up, though. We'll go inside zone. And, okay, Shade's getting set now. I'm still nervous. And we'll run it right up the middle into the end zone. There you go, Matt Pierre. Not many rushing touchdowns this year, but the team sure needs them now. We're starting this drive at our own seven yard line with split backs and Bulaga. Nice, you run to set up the pass there. I like that. That's how you should use your mobility, not just run around. Although some games it has really worked. It's worked well. But I wanna see him get outside the pocket and make some throws. Uh, probably shouldn't have ran it here. And Pierre gets stuffed. I might look to switch up playbooks though at some point. If I can find something that has more option, read option stuff, I do think that would fit. And that might help us out tremendously. It could also open the door for Bulaga to do even more crazy stuff that will drive me crazy in these episodes. So here's your chance. If you have a good playbook to suggest that has some good spread option principles, leave it down below. I don't know the playbooks very well, but if there is one that will do the job, then let's get it going here. Matt Pierre on third down. We're gonna get this first down, no problem there. 
Can we just, like, hire Doug Peterson quick? Sorry, Sean Payton. But just run, like, RPOs the rest of the year with Cole Bulaga? I mean, we probably win the Super Bowl if they did it with Nick Foles. Offense was, was great. I wonder if Bulaga could do well with some read option or whatnot, or if that would just make things even worse. I guess it's worth a try as he misses Isaiah McKenzie. No, that's not what I want to see. DeMarcus a die with the interception. And the Bengals, they might be getting some points now. Uh-oh, that's not good. Cole Bulaga, what have you done? We had a slim lead. It's now gone. Floating for Murray. All right. I'll play. Just 10 seconds to go in the half, though, so I'm not sure what we can do here. Pierre, no, throw it to Matt. I guess that's going to work, too. Might as well use the timeout. What are the chances he throws this, like, at the right time, though? Hail Mary logic isn't very good. So we're down three. And Bulaga, yes, you can rip it to Michael Thomas. That's not what we're looking for. Throw it deep. And welcome to the second half, everybody. 7-10. to 10. Saints now trail. Not running right. That's where Shade lines up. And, oh, come on. I wanted to break it outside. Now Matt swings left, he's open, thank you. Michael Thomas helps him out. Pretty good run blocker. Gain of 15. Getting Matt his touches now, that is for sure. Bulaga, what's up with his accuracy today? Remember when Matt Barkley was so good for like a game or whatever it was? That was pretty fun. Oh man, I thought we had the opening. I guess every run looks like it could be a touchdown until, you know, something happens, which happens on most running plays. The gap closes. So now it's third down and eight. We're outside of field. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That one's on me right there. Whoops. Just completely whiffed trying to protect the quarterback. I feel like... Cole and Matt don't do much to help each other out. They're on different teams most of the time, it feels like. Believe it or not, Andy Dalton's playing far worse than Cole Bulaga. Not marginally worse, far worse. I'll show his stats in a moment. Second and nine, Bulaga. Great play. Well, there you go. 56 passing yards for the Bengals. They are doing a lot less than we are. Ah, oh, kicked me out again, didn't it? Third down and incomplete. We're not going to see many points in this one. We keep getting terrible field position, too. That doesn't help. Ball at the two-yard line. And Matt Pierre dragged down. Gain of four. All right, let's check on Andy Dalton's numbers now. How is Andy Dalton doing? Maybe you'd rather have Andy Dalton here than Cole Bulaga, but how about after seeing these numbers here? Six for 21, 72 yards, and an interception. He's throwing 28% complete. All right, we're going to throw it now, Bulaga. Hey, Clarence to leave. Good catch there. Got to make those tough plays. Makes this third down easier. All right, third and short. Run the trap. Come on, Matt. No. Why do we have to, like, slide past the linemen like that? But seriously, though, we cannot lose to this team. The Bengals don't have an offense. I know they have more points than us, but we can't lose to them. Here's Matt Pierre. There you go. That's a powerful finish to the run. And now we face a third down and five. Hard to have any flow here when it keeps skipping plays. There you go. Michael Thomas moves the chains. I like that from Cole Bulaga. Now we're going to sweep it. Pierre. Drag down again, but we'll get three out of it. Two high safeties for the Bengals. And we just drop it off to Michael Thomas. Good play. This is four down territory here. This is not field goal territory whatsoever. Not in this situation. We're gonna try the trap again. Pierre, 
Going up the middle. I don't know if he got it. But Warford's celebrating, so that's a good indication. Hey, they are friends now. Gulaga and Pierre. They kind of seem like enemies. The way I paint the picture here, they're like enemies. But maybe that's not the case. Maybe they're just frustrated, but they at least have the same goal in mind. Get Matt a touchdown, right? Matt, Pierre, uh-oh, uh-oh, wow, we couldn't... I guess that's a tough block to hold the entire way. Come on, we have to get this touchdown, even if it's not Matt Pierre. Be better if it is. Dropped it off. Matt Pierre stuffed. We have two tight ends in the game. We're going to sit Matt Pierre right over the middle. Right here. No, it's deflected. Bulaga tried to create friendship right there, and they ruined the moment. How close was this anyway? Bulaga waiting for his running back to get open. Oh, I think it hit, it hit Warford. If it doesn't, that's probably a Matt Pierre touchdown. I think he makes the catch there. That's just unlucky. And now, we need it on fourth and goal. Pierre's going to swing to the right. Instead, it's going to be a Michael Thomas touchdown. That works for me. Saints tie the game at 13. We can't lose to these Bengals. No. They go backwards. Come on. Throwing away. Get Andy Dalton under pressure and whatnot. 26 yards to Brian Hill. What are we doing? And they have fourth down again. They got it. Amara Darbo. Come on, guys. Don't let it end like this. Don't lose the game. Oh, wait a minute. The game is over. And the Saints have won. I'm not sure if they missed a field goal because it usually super sims the last play and you don't actually see it. But Matt Pierre and the Saints win. They did not play great, but they played well enough to get this win today. So we're now at 4-4. Four and four. I'll take it. So there we go, a 14-13 win. Bulaga and Dalton really didn't do much in this game. Matt Pierre got a lot of carries, a lot of touches. Couldn't get the big play we were looking for, and I thought that the Bengals had a pretty tough front seven. I do want to see the ratings of number 95, though, Shade, because he was a problem a lot early in the game, though we could just avoid him. But he was a problem when we didn't know to avoid him. So with these two wins, we get a very big game next time around against the Buccaneers. We could both have the same record if we can win it, and they currently lead the NFC South. The division does not appear to be super strong this year. I could see this being a two-team race, but it's not like the Falcons are out of it or anything, but it could definitely be one of those lackluster division titles where the winner has nine or seven wins, or nine or ten wins, rather. Hopefully not seven. That'd be a little ridiculous. But let's check on some numbers now to end the episode. And here is Matt Pierre with 665 yards. The average is way low, and the average per game is also underwhelming. Pierre does have six touchdowns on the ground. He does have two more in the air with 304 receiving. And now for the Bengals. Was this guy a superstar or not? Here is... Anthony Shade from Alabama and he's an 84 overall extremely strong very high block shedding and good power moves that is a great defensive tackle right there I mean they had Geno Atkins at a high level for such a long time and Shade a different build different type of player but similar disruption all right, everybody, this episode is complete, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe on your way out, and I will catch you in the next one. Have a great day.